The wonderful world of wine begins and ends in the vineyard. Fruit produced in the vineyard eventually becomes the wine everyone enjoys. From vine to wine, the fruit is the main character and where all emphasis in the winemaking process is focused. Grapes are uniquely suited to produce wine naturally. With balanced sugars, yeast, and tannic qualities, Vitus vinifera have been cultivated for centuries in order to make wine. Each vineyard combines agriculture, chemistry, art, and business in order to craft wines of their liking or style. Afton Mountain Vineyard does this in a way that accents each part of the process as integral to the success of the vineyard. Beginning at ground level, Afton prefers to have the lightest touch on the land as possible. By using eco-friendly solutions in the vineyard, along with more hands-on labor, the vineyard stays in a naturally healthier state. The physical layout of our vineyard makes us well suited to grow certain grapes in a certain way. As a farm, a great deal of our manual labor is put into obtaining a good harvest year over year. Proper winter pruning and maintenance encourages strong growth the following year. Springtime is when the vineyard comes alive and fruit begins the earliest stages of development. This time called flowering and then fruit set stage is vitally important to determining harvest output or how many grapes could be produced. During this time and through the summer, Brandon and the staff are constantly monitoring the health of the vines and protecting them as necessary. Pruning, excess shoot removal, application of chemicals, and bird netting all play essential roles in keeping the fruit growing. By fall, if all goes well, the fruit should look ripe and plentiful. Different grapes ripen at different times, and the vineyard must carefully plan its resources to take advantage of optimal picking times. Often this is dependent upon weather, but access to staff and equipment are also determining factors. Here at Afton, we use groups of specialized pickers to harvest our fruit quickly and efficiently. These professionals are extremely fast and well-trained in vineyard agriculture. As such, they are often hard to find when everyone in the area is harvesting grapes on the same days for weeks on end. At our vineyard, we pick into small crates, collect the lugs from the vineyard, and place them into the refrigeration shed overnight. This 12 to 16 hour period of cool temperatures prevents wild yeast fermentation from beginning. As soon as grapes are harvested, the wild yeast begin to consume sugars and multiply. Our approach minimizes wild yeast production so that we may more closely control fermentation. The next day, Damien and the winemaking staff arrive early in order to prep the processing equipment. Once the scale, cart, processing table, destemmer, tanks, tea bins, and press, as necessary, are sterilized and ready to go, along with the washing equipment, then grapes can be brought out of refrigeration and down to the winery. Staff gathers to begin unloading the truck placing a percentage from each truckload on the scale to calculate an average tonnage. This tonnage measurement helps the winemaking staff calculate how much storage they need and the amount of chemical additives like potassium metabisulfite, an integral sulfur that helps us maintain consistency in the winemaking process. This sulfur prevents wild microorganisms from growing and acts as a strong antioxidant, protecting both the color and delicate flavors of wine. Sulfur is also a natural byproduct of fermentation, and as such, all wines contain sulfites. Once the measurements are complete and recorded properly, a cart full of crates is brought to the sorting table. Staff await each lug to be dumped on the table, looking for anything that may not be desirable in the wine. MOG, M-O-G, stands for material other than grapes. Leaves, twigs, rotten grapes, and detritus can be prevalent. Depending on the year, varietal, and timing of when the fruit is picked, sometimes the fruit requires very little oversight. Other times, in bad years, it can be depressing to watch how much bad fruit is removed from the table as the remaining good grapes move into the fermenter or the press. From this point, the process will differ for different grapes. A Chardonnay, for instance, may go directly into a press that extracts the juice, while a Cabernet Sauvignon will go through the destemmer and into a one-ton tea bin prepped for punch downs. White wine is more often pressed for the juice with the skins and stems being discarded immediately. Red wine, on the other hand, is destemmed and then left to sit on the skins during primary fermentation. Punch downs and pump overs occur for the red wine during this stage. 
This is when winemaking staff pushes the skins that float to the surface back down into the ferment, allowing more skin color to be extracted into the wine. Over time, this will create the bold red color and tannic structure that we're used to in red wine. Here at Afton, we use French oak to barrel age all of our red wine in addition to our Chardonnay. All other wines are fermented in stainless steel tanks before being bottled and sold. All fermentation vessels are closely monitored to maintain quality in the wine. Temperature control is an important part of this stage and one reason why most vineyards store their barrels in a cave, like ours. Throughout harvest season, the staff is making important decisions on managing their resources. New barrels and fermentation vessels are ordered yearly, but some must be emptied before the next vintage can be stored. This is where bottling comes in. Vineyards often plan their bottling around many factors, but first and foremost being when the wine is ready to be bottled. Bottling a previous vintage will free up space to store this year's crop, so it may also be done as a business decision, bottling in order to have something to sell. Our vineyard continually sells out of wine and we can barely keep up with demand. Although this is a great problem to have, it does pose certain difficulties for the vineyard namely selling out of a particular wine before the next vintage is ready to be bottled. When a wine is prepped for bottling, the containing tank is connected to food grade plumbing that brings it into the bottling area. Once the bottles, sterilizer, bottling stations, corker, and boxing station are set up and clean, then the staff will open the valve to let the wine flow. All told, more than 20 people are involved in getting grapes from vine to wine each one of them personally helping this fruit become something delicious and different. Although vineyards are farms, they are much more. Each vineyard is its own unique community of people who steward the land to produce something artistic. The wine attracts visitors from all over the world. The views help them relax, and the staff makes it all possible. Afton Mountain Vineyards is a hands-on vineyard where the owners take pride in what they produce and the people who help them along the way to the final product. The vineyard staff, the winemaking staff, and the retail staff work together to produce and sell great wine. Understanding the process will help us all do that a little better.